So here's conversation at my house this morning. Me. Hey, loving husband, you want to go film a workout? Loving husband, running out the door. <laughs> Come on, he managed to show up. Let's go work out. Hello there, I'm PJ from Fitness with PJ and loving husband and I are in the house to give you a 20 minute butt lift workout. Just what loving husband always wanted, a perky little derriere. <laughs> All right, you're gonna need a pair of moderate dumbbells for beginners, no dumbbells, loving husband's gonna lead you through that. All right, let's just get the hips warmed up and the legs warmed up and then away we go. Big circles with the knee. We're so happy to have you here. This is awesome. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm gonna lead you through a warm up, the workout, as well as a stretch. A uh, little backstory, I'm a personal trainer, close to 25 years in the industry, loving husband, simply gets dragged on set for entertainment value, and, well, that's about it. And <laughs> other side, sometimes he speaks, sometimes he doesn't. We'll see what happens today. Are you going to speak today? Why? Just speak. <laughs> Normally you can't shut them up at home. I mean that with love. <laughs> Last two, and one. All right, single leg kicks, extend the opposite arm and kick out for eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, let's go. So here's the scoop. We've got woo, 15 exercises, two rounds of 30 seconds, and then we are done. As I said before, you need yourself some dumbbells, what you consider are moderate. Beginners, you'll follow a loving husband with no dumbbells. Release. All right, feet apart, toes turned out, drop the bucket. Good. Sumo squat. Knees tracking with the toes. Thank you very much. And breathe. All right, now we're going to take it down, hold it down. I want you to give me four pulses. Four, three, two, one. Lift up. Four, three, two, one, lift up. Four, three, two, one, lift up. Last one. Four, three, two, one, lift up. Excellent job. Okay, so we're going to start out with a step outside lunge. We're going to use our left. That will be your right. If you like dumbbells, you can have them. Otherwise, loving husband is going to, I don't know. What are you going to do? I don't know. You're gonna do step outside lunge. What do you want to do with your hands? What? Nothing? All right. <laughs> Here's the scoop. If you've got dumbbells, I want you to bring your dumbbells into the hip area, okay? Shoulders back and down. Now step out with your right. Push your hips back. Good. Feet together. And let's do it again. So when we do this, you're gonna stay square to me. Good. Now your other leg stays straight, right? Right. After our 30 seconds, we're gonna keep with the same leg here and do a crossover lunge before we step up to the other side. Last two. One more. All right, feet together. Dumbbells can dangle from your side. I want you to take that same right leg you were just working, step and cross the midline of the body, drop the knee to the mat if you can, and feet together, do it again. Curtsy lunge or crossover lunge. Shoulders back and down, chest lifted. You feel that rear end yet? You feel your rear end yet, honey? No. No? Why not? You're doing it right? You feel your knees? Mm -hmm. If you feel your knees like loving husband, modify, don't go down as deep. One more. All right, feet together. Let's bring the dumbbells back into the hips. We're stepping out now with the other leg. Ready? Step out. Push the hips back. Feet together. Do it again. It's a nice dynamic move. We're hitting a lot more than glute with this workout, by the way. 
Yes, the emphasis is the booty, but whoo, we're getting thighs as well and your core. Two more. Last one. Release. All right, arms down by your side, shoulders back and down, crossover lunge. Step across the midline of the body, drop the knee down. Good. Feet together, do it again. Our next move, we're going into a deadlift. Now a deadlift is one that can be hard on people's low backs, as well as the form can be a little hard to get. So if you're in that group, I want you to follow suit with loving husband, he's gonna do a bridge. Last two, one more, release. All right, so down on the mat with your knees bent for bridge, or join me. Dumbbells together, knees soft, push the tailbone up, Bring the hands down or lift your bum up and down with loving husband. So what you don't want to do is round your back on a deadlift. You have the same spine standing as you do down. So pull your shoulders back so you don't round in that mid area. Good job. We got three more reps and then we're coming up for a sumo squat. Last two. One more. Release. All right, come on up. Sumo squat means the feet are very wide. The toes are turned out. Dumbbells can rest in the hips. Drop the bum down. Push up through the heels. Good. Knees tracking with the toes. Nice. You go down as low as you feel comfortable. We're trying to aim at the very least, if you can, thighs parallel to the floor. Heading down onto our mat and our hands and knees in about three more reps. Last three, two, one more, one. All right, dumbbells off to the side. On your hands and knees, I want you to extend your left leg and flex the foot. Good, now keep the abdominals contracted and lift that left up and down. So don't bend the knee and don't allow your low back to sway either. This is a straight leg lift, getting into that tush. Now we're gonna stay with this left leg for our next move as well. Further get into the muscles around the hip. Good, don't bend the knee, love my husband. <laughs> three more, here's the last three. Hang in there, two, one. All right, now bend the knee, but the knee's not on the ground. I want you to give me fire hydrant. Lift that left knee up like you're in a fire hydrant, your dog. Bring it down, and then press the knee on a diagonal, and back to center. Up. Press the leg out, straightening it on a diagonal. Good. Love it, husband. You're looking good. <laughs> press. Yeah, you're gonna feel this on the working leg and the non-working leg. How sweet is that? We got both sides fired up. We're switching sides. One more rep. Release. All right, we've got that right leg. Extend it, flex the foot, and up and down. Leg straight, nothing in that right knee. It stays straight. Reach it up, core engaged. Fire hydrant to reach across, coming up. Last three, two, one more, one. All right, bend that right knee. I'm gonna come on a forward angle for you. Bend it, now give me fire hydrant, bring it down and go across the body, good. Fire hydrant, reach it. Fire hydrant, reach it. Woo. You wanna lift your butt, you gotta work it. It's not gonna happen, naturally. Going into a one-legged bridge. Two more reps. One more. Release. All right, I want you to continue with that right leg. Keep it on the ground, extend the left one up. 
pressing through that right heel. Drive the hips as high as you can, then slowly lower till the bottom just barely touches, and then drive back up again. Good. Love you, husband. You're almost out of camera. Come towards me. Come on. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Try not to swing the left leg. You're just moving through that right side. Last two. And one. Release. Extend the other leg. And go. Drive. So we still have one more bridge to go. We've completed the 30 seconds on this left leg. We're gonna drop the right foot, lift the hips as high as possible, and hold a static bridge for 30 seconds. So this is also good news if you're prone to low back pain or knee pain. Bridges are fantastic to help with both. Last two. One more. Good. Now feet in, hip width apart. Now drive the hips up as high as you can. In fact, even if you want to use your hands to try and push up a bit higher and then release the arms, go for it. And then I want those knees lined up at the hips. So quite often we'll open the knees up and get a little lazy there. I want you to tighten them up. So your ankles, knees, and hips are all in one line. Drive up high, we're almost there. See if you can get a little higher now. Last three, two, and release. All right, roll onto a side. Come onto that bottom elbow. Knees are one on top of the other, okay? And your um, top leg is just off of the bottom. Now I want you to open up and down. Up and down, good. Now see if you can open up a bit more without rolling too much on your back. So we're working that little part of the muscle on the side of the bum there. Last five, four, three, two, one more, one. All right, real quick, other side. On that bottom elbow, lift the legs up so the legs and feet aren't touching, and open, open. All right, so here's the scoop. We have done one round of everything. Bravo. So we're gonna take it from the top. Now first move, if you're using dumbbells, you're gonna grab your dumbbells. We've got step outside lunges. Here we go, last four, three, two, one more. One. Woo! All right, come on up, love the husband. Here we go. Dumbbells on the side of the hip. We're stepping out with our left. You can mirror us and step out with your right. Push your hips back, other legs straight, feet together. Do it again. Good. Stay square to us, okay? You're not twisting towards that leg stepping out. If you like leg workouts, I got a ton on the YouTube channel. We have one epic one where I promised him it would only take us like 30 minutes and it was an hour long. Remember that day? Nope. He was really mad at me. One more. And release. All right, arms down by your side. Don't switch legs, okay? We're still staying with that same leg. Step behind the body for crossover. Knee to the mat if you can. And back. So that crossover portion, that's what's gonna fire up more glute. But if you feel it in your thigh, yes, okay? We're bending and flexing through that knee and hip joint as well. Working all those muscles. Last two. One more. Excellent. All right. Dumbbells back in the hip. We're stepping up with the other leg. Ready? Go. Step up. Excellent. Okay, you have to say something. You're so quiet, it's so boring. I'm breathing. What's going on? I'm breathing. 
have a little conversation. Would be nice. Last two. One more. All right, crossover lunges. Anybody else out there married? <laughs> Anybody else get the silent treatment too? Here we go. Step across that same leg, back knee to the mat. Going into those deadlifts, coming up next, or bridges with loving husband. One more. All right, deadlifts. I'm gonna go to my side or bum lifts. Your choice. Knees soft, ready. Neutral spine, come down and back up again. Good. Don't let your low back feel this on the deadlift. Recruit those abdominals and hinge to that hip joint, okay? Not through the low back, not through the shoulders. Last four, we're coming up for sumo squats. Two more. Last one. Release. All right, sumo squat. Toes turned out, feet wide, hands resting the hips, drop the bum down and up. Great job, we're getting rid of the dumbbells. Coming up, we're gonna go down on the hands and knees and get that series done for all of the different muscles related to the glute. So we've got the outer hip called the glute med. The different layers of the glutes, we're gonna be hitting them all with that series. Four more. One more. Release. All right, on your hands and knees. Let's take the left leg. Wrist under the shoulders, abdominals recruited, left leg extended, foot flex, and press the heel up without further arching the back. And you're trying to keep your hip bones both pointed towards your mat or ground, whatever you're working out on right now. Keep that left knee straight, it never bends. Come into fire hydrant, we will bend it in about 10 seconds. Last four, three, two, one. All right, bend the knee, here we go. Same left leg, lift up to fire hydrant, parallel to the floor, bring the knees together, and then scoop it to the other side. Last four. One more. Release. Whew. All right, right knee, ready? Five hydrant. Together. Bring it across. Good. Five hydrant. Bring it across. Oh, we forgot the straight leg lifts, didn't we? Oh, shucks. <laughs> we'll do those after that. We've got straight leg lifts after this. One more beach. All right, stay with this right leg. Extend the foot, or extend the leg, flex the foot, and heel presses up, abs tight. Try to get the toe touching the mat and then bring it up as high as you can. Knees straight, abs engaged. Four more. Last one. Release. All right, on our backs. Right leg on the floor, left extended. One-legged bridges, right leg on the ground. Ready? 
Drive the hips up, release. Drive. Four more. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm tired. <laughs> Last one. Release. All right. Other leg. Ready and press. Try to get as high as you can. Lift those hips up. We're almost there. We just have a couple more exercises and you are done. The 20 minute butt lift. We're gonna go into static bridge next. Last three, two, and one. All right, knees bent, feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart. Now drive the hips up as high as you can. Place your hands underneath your low back, push your hips up a bit higher, and then release the hands and hold. Static bridge. Remember what I said last set, don't let those knees open up, keep them tight. So ankle, knees, and hips all stay in one long line. Squeeze the glutes, lift it like you mean it at home. You're going to go into a side leg lift, our last move of this series coming up. And now slowly release it. Woo! All right, roll onto a side. Come onto that bottom elbow, it's underneath the shoulders. Knees bent, feet not touching, and lift and close. Lift and close, you got it. Just think how shapely your butt's gonna be now, honey. No? No comment. No comment. Last three, two, one, other side. Here we go, elbow to the shoulder, knees are bent, ready and lift. We're gonna do a quick stretch after that and then you can continue on with your day. If you need other workouts, don't forget to check out the rest that I've got there on the YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, join the community. We've got people all around the globe doing these workouts. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do child's pose, stretch out the bum. Walk your hands forward, sit your bum back, and drop your forehead to the mat if you can. Slowly come up, come onto the back, cross your left leg over the right. We're going to do a figure four stretch. Pull the knee in and place your hands behind that right thigh. For a more intense stretch, you can place the hands on top of the right shin. Pulling that knee towards you, getting a nice stretch in the glute and hip there. We're going to get a further uh, glute stretch by keeping this leg crossed over, but drop the right foot to the ground. Extend your left arm out so it's lined up at the shoulder. And now take your right hand and grab on the outside of that left knee and pull across and hold. Now on this position, if you want more into the glute, you can bring that right knee up towards that left armpit. Got it? No. No other way. No. There you go. Back to center. 
Cross the right leg over the left, pull in for figure four. Hands can come behind that left thigh or on top of that left shin for a deeper stretch. Try to get that left knee to line up with the outside of the left shoulder though. Now keep the leg crossed, drop the left foot to the ground. Extend your right arm out to shoulder height. And then take the left hand and grab the outside of that right knee, bring it across the midline of the body, right across. And then if you want more of a stretch, bring that knee up towards the chest. Back to center, pull both knees into your chest. Tight, nice and tight, stretching the glutes further, and then just rock the knees side to side. Keep holding that. Thank you so much for joining us. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and leave us a comment as well. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next workout. Bye. Okay, you were a duck. How come you were such a duck? Huh? I'm tired. I'm always tired. I'm tired. You mean a dud? Too bad. <laughs> dud. Hey, hey, get somebody else.